Thank you. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, you know, what's interesting is I'm going to start off with the adult sex joke just because, you know, we have to. So, um, did you hear that deaf sex joke about the deaf gynecologist? No. No? I'm still waiting on the answer on that one. I never heard of it. So, that's the upside of being deaf. I get to not hear a joke. But it goes like this. What does a deaf gynecologist do? I don't know. Three words. <laughs> and that's the thing, is that a lot of times people ask me, you know, what is it like to be deaf? And I think one of the challenges is that there's a uh, dual identity situation and a switch between being hearing and being deaf. So let me tell you about this story about White Castle. I go to White Castle with my friend who is deaf, and I was so impressed how they were so accommodating. The front uh, cashier posts out a little notepad and pen and just does writing back and forth. And my friend is very independent. So I couldn't really speak like I'm speaking to you now. I had to be deaf. We eat there, and by the way, I'm from New York, so I never heard of White Castle. I thought it was a movie. I thought it was a joke. I, I, when I saw the real thing, I'm like, hit me! You know, it was just so weird for me to see the actual White Castle. But the point is that I wrote a little letter to headquarters and said, hey, thanks, you know, this store for being so accommodating. And flash forward, six months later, I'm broke, broke, broke. <laughs> Bro, they sent me a letter saying, hey, thank you for writing to us and letting us know. We're going to give you the free crepe cake. Nice. So the night coupon, I broke his house. And, you know, so I go to that same location. And as soon as I show them the coupon, the cashier, her eyes lights up. And she puts her finger up and says, I'll be right back. She goes to the bathroom, the manager comes up. And he showed me the copy of the same damn letter that I sent to headquarters. So they apparently headquarters forwarded the copy of that letter and was like, we're accessible! You know, that kind of stuff. So they gave me three bombs of their very Yeah! Well, yeah. I felt like a rich man. I don't know, I think my million dollars, I'm gonna fucking blow it. So I ate the three gray yeah. <laughs> cakes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lived about six blocks from White Castle. I'm like so happy they gave me milkshake on the way out. My father was like, like, I had the whole box. I'm going to town, man. And uh, I'm at the light, and as soon as I get halfway across the light, the worst thing that can happen to a dumb person is not to hear what's going to happen. It's the feeling of that sound going through your body. That's the worst feeling ever. So I feel the wasp rumbling, and next thing you know, I'm paralyzed from my right leg. The next step is, you know, the halt. So you're trying to move and get out of traffic. And I realized the physics of the body is you can't exactly run when you have to take a shit. You really can't. So I'm crying, holding my ass, walking down the street, just kind of, and making sure I don't drop my crepe cake box because I'm gonna need that for the rest of the week. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. I get to my apartment, I kick my door down, I look by myself, one bedroom apartment, I'm taking a mad ass hell to marry situation, okay? My landlord on the second floor comes up and he thought there was somebody breaking in because all he heard was somebody kicking the door down, screaming bloody hell, and he thought I was being murdered. Huh. Now, I'm sitting on the john and he's trying to converse with me and I'm like, can we not talk about this? And he goes, where'd you get the crank case from? Really? <laughs> right now? I'm like, yeah. My dad friends, and then 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Are we really going to go through that? Yeah. Um, I'm going to quote this off. I have a, a serious question I want to ask you guys. Do you think, let's say if I want to go to a strip club, I should have a sign language interpreter? <laughs> <laughs> Does she work there too? Huh? Does the sign language interpreter work there too? No. Ah, then no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because well, I need to know how much I'm supposed to care. Yeah, but you need to have a stripper who knows, who knows ASL. Wow. 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 So, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So if I go She's to an art gallery, I shouldn't have an interpreter at all. No, you need to have a stripper at an art gallery. Okay. Okay. Who knows ASL? You know I'm just pretending to hear you, so I heard it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's kind of my upbringing. Thank you. I'm Jake Peter. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.